What's going on, everybody? True Oz here from DownRightUpLeft.com, and today we are bringing you. <sighs> I didn't I think you it. got phased by that. I I thought you kept going. I thought you. I was gonna keep going. I was gonna keep going. You, gonna keep going. <laughs> you should have kept going. Why did you stop? <laughs> I was like, I was like, he got over it. Like he's good now. I don't. I can never do this again. But then you just <laughs> lost steam. Like you, no, you didn't even lose steam. Like it wasn't gradual. You know what? It was abrupt. Cause the, cause then the intro would have gone even. I don't know. Whatever. It, it doesn't. It, it's not even that it bothers me. It's just the fact that it, it just. I don't know. It doesn't. It really doesn't bother me. I mean, it does. But whatever. Uh. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm just I'm leaving all of that in there. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, that's fine. I don't care either. Uh, so yeah, what's going on? Uh, True Oz here with Mr. I'm just gonna uh, interrupt the intro. Yeah, ask me. <laughs> Jack, Mr. Show 220 himself. Uh, we're I'm bringing you Droolcast I, I episode 28. Yeah, that's yeah. true, man. So you you're feeling a little under the weather, and uh, I mean. We, we kind of, I kind of just bothered you until you wanted to record the show. So here we are. No, you didn't. You didn't like, you know, like, this is a big deal. Oz, if I was feeling, if I was feeling as bad as I supposedly sound, I would, I would be like, yo, I'm not feeling well, like, you know. But nah, man, there is no such thing as being sick. You got to work no matter what. You got to do stuff. You can't stop. Nah, not, a, not unless you get the Pax bug, man. But anyways, moving on. Episode 28 yeah. of the Drool Cast. Um. So let me see. I mean, we're we're, we're going to go ahead and continue the, the trend. Uh, last week we got our four words. This week we got our new four words. Here we got heroes and villains. We got defense. We got Alpha N, which is November. Alpha Q, which is Quebec. Yeah, I looked up the phonetic spelling. That's what I do. Quebec. Yeah, <laughs> Quebec. It's Quebec. I don't Quebec know why. Can, Quebec can be Q W A. It could be Quebec, Q W A B E Q. That or B E B. It's still a Q though. It's still a Q. That's the thing. The, the point of it is that it's a Q. You understand the Isn't fact that it's a, a Q. So what? Well, we can use the word Q. And then Q yeah, I'm just saying Q, it's all the same. Well, oh no no no! Well, it's not Quebec. I'm just saying the the phonetic. I know or the letter I know, Q. But that's what I'm asking. That's not the word that we Why have. is the phonetic Quebec is what I'm asking. Uh, I don't know. Why is this? Well, you can blame <laughs> whoever created the phonetic fucking pronunciation guy. They must have been Canadian. Nothing against Canadians, but I'm just saying <laughs> it doesn't make much sense. Well, why why is O Oscar? Why is my name in in this whole thing? What do you mean? You got it. Well, O is Oscar. What else would you put for O? Why would it be Oscar? Did you look that up? It's it's legit Oscar. I know that for a fact. It's not a Why matter of looking See, Oscar up. is not the right O. O is not Oscar. Well, that's what the... Like, that's what o is like the, Omar. Oh, <laughs> Oliver. 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 Those are O's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, shit. <laughs> Well, well like now, why are you hating my name now? Oscar. That's so messed up. I'm not it's hating. true, I'm man. I hate people can't spell Oscar. Whatever. It, but yeah, people spell it with a K sometimes. It's the weirdest thing, which is funny because I know my girl goes through the same thing. She's like, it's Erica with a C. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, her name, I could see that with her name, you know. What yeah. I mean? Yeah. That's a good one to mess up. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, those are the uh, the main ones. So, we got Daredevil. We got a Face Shield. So I'm going to use your fucking face as a shield is apparently what's going on. We got Newlywed, and we got Quail Dove. Now, oh, Quail Dove, if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bird. Not 100% sure, but I know that I've seen an episode of, like, what's the name of that weird guy that eats the f weird food <coughs> on the Travel know. Channel? Yeah, you don't watch don't a know. lot of TV. Um, Andrew Zimmer, TV. Zimmer, Zimmerman. Uh, what's it called? Bizarre Foods. I remember seeing an episode where he's like hunting quail or something like that, and they fucking basically Wait, they're is, little. Is quail little the same bird. thing as a quail dove? But that's yeah, that's the thing. Like I don't know if it's the same thing as a quail dove. Uh, you gotta make a make of these, bro. Uh. Well, whatever, man. Those are the words for today. 
Uh, I really don't got much about Daredevil. I know they made that movie, you know? That horrible, horrible yeah, movie. movie. Did you? What's her name? Them? Jennifer or something or another, right? The Swank? alias girl. No, not oh, Hilary Swank, bro. Jennifer, oh, yeah, um, Gardner. Is that her name? The alias girl? Uh, I don't know. Come on, bro. I don't remember that movie, TV. man. I did, I do, but I don't remember that movie enough to really care. It's not a really good movie. Let me I see. remember, uh, what's his face is in that movie? Uh, phone booth guy. Colin Farrell, right? He's the bad guy? Uh -huh. I forgot his uh -huh. name. It's like, yeah, Jennifer mean, Garner's in Daredevil. See, I was right about that. What's his name, I, dude? The I mean, guy, like Trick Shot or something Colin like Farrell, that? Colin Farrell, Bullseye, Bullseye. Bullseye, there you go. I only ben remember Affleck, that because he has was the Daredevil. thing. Yeah, Ben Affleck. Gotta love Ben Affleck. I don't remember him Boston, being Daredevil. But... Forgot about that. <laughs> the main character. That's how bad of a movie yeah. it is. You don't remember the main character. Well, yeah, I remember the girl, though. <laughs> I, 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 right. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> That's just like yesterday. Hey, yesterday, hey, I was in it too. Yesterday, having that conversation about uh, what's it called? That Change Up movie with uh, Olivia Wilde and uh, what's her face? Yeah, Leslie Mann. Lisa? Leslie. 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 Mann, yeah. Leslie. Yeah, Leslie. Sure, it's Leslie. Leslie. But, okay, we could say Leslie. Leslie. Let's be honest. Leslie. Let's be honest. Alright, uh, so yeah, I mean, I got nothing. I really got nothing. I mean, newlywed and getting married this year. Yeah, you are. Right. Kind of, yeah. you know, kind of scary. A little nervous. I don't really want to get into it that much right now. I don't know why You're I'm nervous. Gonna, like, pee yourself. Are you, are you going to pee yourself? Uh, that's why I'm going to have you there, man. I'm going to make sure you, you got you got me a change of clothes and stuff, just in case. You never know. You never know. I'll get you some Depends, man. <laughs> you want some Depends? <laughs> some, some, some Depends. Some of them adult diapers. All right, man. Let's yeah. get into some video game talk. I got Actually, before we get into some video game talk, I want to why? bring something up. I want to bring something yeah. up. I want to bring something up. So I got an email the other day. I, I, I wanted to tell you earlier, but I got an email the other There's day that said important. There's a billion doves. <laughs> You're just telling the doves. An email that's oh, said oh, important. Hold on. Let me, let me see. Yeah. Two, okay, three, no, go ahead. Four, go ahead. 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 19 Counting different quail doves. Did you know that? Wow. Like different species? Dove. Yeah. yeah. Purplish wow. backed quail dove, tuxla quail dove, buff fronted quail dove, russet crown quail. Like, they, they go on, man. They don't stop. 19 of these wow. things. Where are they from? Okay, anyway. Like, where. Are they all like in different uh, areas? Is that what it is, or? Uh, they all live in the neotropics. Uh, wherever that's at. It's sure. like um, South Mexico and South America. Uh, oh here, huh. yeah, okay, yeah. Southern Mexico, Central America, West Indies, and South America is where they live. Oh, that's from uh, around my neck of the woods there, Central America. That's awesome. They're ground-dwelling birds that live in, or that live, nest, and feed in dense forest. There you go. Oh. That's all. Yeah, okay. We learned, we learned uh, you got, you got, you got an email. So yeah, I got this email today, which is funny because I was like, well, it was yeah, it was earlier on today, and it's funny because you made me sign up for this service, and then I, I was just like, ah, whatever, I don't really care. I don't know if you checked your email recently, but. Uh, it yeah. said important information regarding your Voodoo account. Uh, v -U -D yeah. Did you get that? Yeah. <laughs> I, dude, did you not read the channel? I talked about that. Why not? I talked about that. What were what? you? you oh, in the in the in the in the cave. Four thirty my I didn't, time. I don't or look at five I, I, five thirty. I, I got home and I played <laughs> played some Call of Duty, and now we're recording. That was literally my day today. I, I went to work. I got home. Call yeah. of Duty, recording. Yeah. That's my schedule. Busy schedule. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I got got this email, and Mr. Jack over here made me sign up for this Voodoo service with the false promise of like, what was it? Ten free movies. It was like ten free movies. <laughs> hey, we did get ten free movies. Just not in the method but that we thought we were going to Exactly. Get them. So, in the front yeah, yeah, page, they're exactly. advertising, yeah, they're advertising, like, hey, get The Hobbit. And I'm like, oh, shit, for free? Okay. And then you sign up, you register, and you're getting 10 movies that they pick that are, like, from back in 99 or something. Like, I think the newest movie was. Yeah, you were, you were like, just, like, boring when that could happen. 
a knight's a knight's tale or some shit like that with uh <coughs> I don't remember dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Whatever. Like that, that was the only movie that stuck out, and even then, I still didn't want to watch it. But anyways, back to the email. So apparently, <laughs> this is the part that I found funny. Right? It sucks. I, I I mean, it's not funny, but who goes into a a like I, I don't even know what type of like who goes into an office just to steal hard drives? <laughs> they got their Why hard not? drives stolen. What? Why yeah, would you, why do, would you that? do that? Why would you not do I mean, that? If you're going to steal well, anything, you, that's what you would steal. But why would you, like, no. No, that that's not true. If you go anywhere, right. you're, gunning, you're gunning for the money, and you're gunning for, obviously, this, this is a horrible thing to talk about, but you're going in to get money, or you're going in to get some electronics. Why would you want to get a hard they drive? Like, why not just take the fucking computer? Because it's a server. It's in a rack. It's why not? Okay, so why not just pull, pull, pull the rack? Well, oh I guess God. technically. Have you ever tried to did. pull a server out the rack? No, no, no probably not. Hard drives on servers are hot swappable. They're all in the front. You just press a the button, they pop right out. You could take hard drives out like half a second. I guess. We still like now. Like you it's, these, just it, oh you man, it's just stupid. Uh, it makes sense to me. Instead of hacking them, they just went in there and took the hard drives. Instead of saying like, "Hey, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hack you guys," we're just gonna walk in and take your stuff instead. It's the same thing. <laughs> That's what they did. That's so, so, so fucked up. I, like, I, I was reading this email, because honestly, I do not care about my account. I literally made the account. I have no credit card information associated with it. Yeah, my password is there, either. but it's just like, I don't really care. But at the same time, I mean, even if they did get the, the credit cards, apparently they only have the last four digits of some of the credit cards, is what they said. Um, they they said all of them, that's them. Yeah. Yeah. And the majority of the things that they could uh, hack would end up being the um, just the username and password uh, but even that's like encrypted yeah. and all this other stuff and it'll take a while but even at that point you're just like really like somebody went like it's <laughs> like, like you're saying instead of just hacking them they went out of their way and they were just like you know what we know that they're they have a ton of hard drives I'm pretty sure there's a ton of accounts there we're just gonna go in the offices one day and uh, break in and just steal some hard drives why not it yeah. just, I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing. Whatever. It's I mean, there could be a lot of reasons. Who knows? Maybe, like, they're hoping to find, like, their software, whatever they use to, like, you know, stream the movies, or I don't know. Who knows what mm. motivation was. Maybe there's going to be some foreign company in, you know, some crazy country that's going to pop up and, like, do the same type of service. Uh, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. By, lear Maybe there's by something learning else on there. from... From those hag tar or yeah. from the the stolen hard drives. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I guess I guess you're right. It's just I got I the know. email and it. I was just I was just laughing because you made me sign up for it. <laughs> yeah. So no, what, what I wrote though, I was like, what did I write? I, I like copied and pasted that line about we want to let you know there's a break in at the Rudy offices, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then I'm like, it's too the first line reads. Yeah, no, go ahead. That you get an email that says important information regarding your XYZ account. Because I just got yeah. one the other day. Uh, like, Rock Band's website got hacked. So they sent me Harmonics, an email the other day. Yeah, yeah they're like, they was like, we've been hacked, whatever. You're probably going to change your stuff, whatever, whatever. It's like, and then, yeah, but I mean, it's like at least once a month that I get one of these emails from some site that's been compromised. It's crazy. And it's just, it's frustrating. I'm glad I never used the same password. So. Yeah, really that's what worry. I that's what I'm a little worried about cuz I mean, I have like a good 3 that I rotate between like a couple of sites, you know? I know that you're yeah. you have you have like a full whole password manager if I'm not mistaken, right? Like you use one of those services or whatever. What do you mean? Cuz no, what are you talking about? I don't I don't know cuz I I mean, some of the passwords that you <laughs> generated for me before, I don't know how you can possibly remember that ever. Oh, I don't. This is what I'm trying to get I don't at. Remember it? Okay. Right, I don't. So you just ha you just have every one of your passwords written down in like a text file on your desktop or something? That's totally not what I, I do. I have I have <laughs> I have them somewhere, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, every, they're all they're all stored somewhere. So if I need them, I can I can get them. All right, uh, that makes sense. I guess. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. It's just uh, I, it got me thinking. Like shit, I should really consider <coughs> uh, some sort of password management system where I have like a whole bunch of different logins because everything needs a login now like remember back in the day you needed one login and that was just for your computer <laughs> and even that was questionable you know and then every fucking site now is just like hey log in here log in there and everyone is yeah, a password yeah. you know it's crazy um 
So yeah, the other thing. It should all be different passwords. It, it should be, but I mean, it, like I just I'm never gonna remember them. That's the thing. Right. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I mean, in other news, Cliffy B. Uh. Sorry, Rod Ferguson left. Which completely mind fucked me. I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah, I don't really see a big deal about it. You don't see a big deal about it, but do you see him and Cliffy B p potentially reuniting for something? It's like, why would you leave a company after your game launches? Like, I know you, you know, yesterday we briefly spoke about this and you were just like, it's not a big deal, but I mean, like, your game just launched. He's the freaking vice president of development for Irrational, and he just ups and goes. Like, why? You know? I don't know. He knows. I'm sure he knows, and I'm sure Cliffy B knows too. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> something's gonna come up. I know something's gonna come up, man. You can you can uh, bank on that, man. I tweet. I called him out the other day too. I was like, yeah, I know yeah, something's going him. on. I had to. I had to, Mr. Yeah. Gears Viking on Twitter. <clears throat> I I had to, man, because it, it, it just something something's going on, man. Something has to be going on in order for that to have happened. A successful game like Bioshock. Uh, Infinite, you know, literally just came out like what two weeks ago? Not even. Maybe, yeah, uh, actually, yeah maybe it was two, about that. Maybe two, three weeks ago. That. And then yeah. you're just gonna leave the company after you launch a game? Like, no, man, that's just insane. Well, I mean, he it's wasn't crazy. really involved in the whole game though either. He just went there like maybe a year ago, if that. Like, the game was probably ninety percent done by the time he got there. It's not like he was he saw it through and it's like his baby. He just kind of hung out for a while. <laughs> and maybe he did like maybe like there's two things maybe in the entire game that he had like a lot of influence <laughs> over you know what I mean yeah so I mean, that's what I'm saying I don't think it's a big deal it's not like it's not like when he left Epic or when Cliffy B left Epic like that's those are big deals those like, are a huge deal yeah yeah yeah, Cliffy B's been there, I don't know how many years, like tens of years. It's you know, Rob plus. Ferguson's probably been there for maybe just a little less than ten. Cause yeah. he, I'm pretty sure he worked on Gears 2. I don't think he did Gears 1, but like Gears 2 yeah. and 3, definitely. And those are both huge games, so it's like, for them to leave that, and all, everybody else who also left that big, like, that's a big deal. But yeah. he just kind of hung out at Irrational. He Irrational. Was like, like, oh, hey. We like to <laughs> come over here and drink some Apple Teenies or whatever he drinks. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's why I don't see that as a big deal. We'll see, man. We'll see. Because I definitely, I mean, <coughs> imagine, like, what they would be able to come up with. Like, that that would be cool. I was I was basically comparing it to the whole situation with uh, this dude that you don't like, uh, 402, what's his name? Uh, Robert Bowling. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Leaving, uh, what's it called? Um, what, what has he done? Well, he left, uh, he left Call of Duty. Uh, what the fuck is it? Yeah. No. The name Infinity of that company, War. I can't think. Infinity War, there you go. He left I Infinity War to that. start up uh, RoboTokyo. I don't know, it just kind of blanked. Uh, he left to work on <laughs> he left to work on Robo Robotoki or whatever it's called and uh they they announced their game. I forgot the name of it though. Um here exactly. I have it. Yeah, I mean exactly. like that's the thing. Human element, there you go. Exactly. exactly. He announced human never element heard of it. and uh, never yeah. heard of it. Q four two thousand two twenty fifteen is is their there, uh, oh wow! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, they're going next gen. They're in ne next yeah. Gen. Yeah, that's that's their push there. But I mean, put it this way: it, he left, and literally like a few months later, he's like, "Yep, yeah, here's my new company." You know, like so. I I I see something going on there with uh, Rod and Cliffy and whoever else was involved in the whole epic thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, enough I mean, of that. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it would be awesome. I can't, I can't imagine what the hell they're gonna create. It should be amazing. Um, cause when what's his face, or rather when uh, uh, what's it called? When this dude left, uh, Robert Bowling, when he left Infinity Ward, you're just like, what the hell's gonna happen in Infinity Ward? And I don't even want to get into it. But they're they Call of Duty's just fucking Call of Duty, whatever. Nothing ever changes. Wait, I was talking, what? No, cause nothing if ever he changes. Left, though, like that game. Uh, yeah. But I'm just saying, like. He he was just a community manager though. He didn't like really do anything in the but game. But I'm sure, I'm sure he had like some input, you know. No, he's just some some guy, some he's just like, some random dude who's like, hey, I'm gonna talk. Uh, okay, yeah. I guess. But Whatever. I mean, the whole studio like broke up 
way, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, after, it's, it's what was it after? I don't know if it was yeah. after or before, but yeah, the whole know, it was some, It was around then somewhere. Yeah, like, but that was over different reasons. That was between Activision and whatever else. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, moving on, uh, let me see here. I, I've been playing this game uh, called 10 Million. I don't know if you've heard about this game, dude. Uh, it's out on Steam, uh, but I, I've been playing it on my phone. Uh, it just came out on Android and whatnot, and I've been going like crazy playing this game because it's like a, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a Bejeweled-styled game where it, it, it's a match three game. There you go. Uh, you match the three, you know, match three icons or whatever, uh, but it has like RPG elements to it, so you're like leveling stuff up, you're, you're getting, you know, uh, you're upgrading your, your, I guess your fortress, and the funny thing that I didn't even realize until fairly recently is that at one point, it tells you to, or rather, if you look at the, the top score area, it says freedom. So I guess you're in a prison. I, this is kind of what I, I didn't understand, but I guess you're in a prison, uh, prison rather, and you have to get a score of 10 million in order to escape. Uh, I've only gotten uh-huh. to about 2 million, <laughs> and I've spent so many hours playing this game. But I, I don't know what it is about this game. Like, at first I started playing it, and I'm like, yeah, this game is kind of like, eh, like... It's fun, and you you know you get your match threes and you move on, and but then there's something about trying to get to that freedom, you know. Like I don't know what it is. Like I don't I don't know. It's just, it's hard to explain, but definitely recommend the game. Um, I don't know if it's available on iPhone or iOS or any i product. Um, I know that. Um, it, it's released on Android. I know I've seen it on Steam, but I just I didn't feel like it was a, a computer game. I always saw, I don't know. I see match three games, and I'm like, yeah, that should be on my phone. Like I really don't want to play that on my computer. You know? All right, guys. I guess uh, I'll find time to play stuff on my phone. Really? You know? Really? Yeah. I I don't know what it is about mobile games. I I really like mobile games, and I think. And I say that mobile as in my phone, not as like a 3DS or a DS or whatever. Back in the day, when I was taking the bus to school, sure, a DS would have been awesome. Uh, I, I love my DS, yeah. as a matter of fact, but now, you know, I'm driving everywhere. Like, there's really no time for me to, to, to play games on the go anymore. Whenever I just want to play a quick game, like, I, I would play something like, you know, the, the 10 million game here. Uh, you know, just something quick. Uh, but definitely awesome game. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I want to say it's like two bucks on Android or something like that. Uh, I don't know how much it is on other platforms or anything like that, but definitely check it out if you have time. Uh, very, just very easy to understand, very hard to master, and it will take it. It will just take you forever to put this game down. Like I've literally fallen asleep with my with, with the the phone in my hand, just trying to go to sleep playing the game and I, I, it's just it's crazy I, I love it are you sure you were um, playing the game before you were, you were going to sleep <laughs> I, I, I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what I was doing <laughs> but yeah, it, was, I, but it was in my hand I woke up and it was in my hand it wasn't in landscape it wasn't in landscape that's all I gotta say <laughs> uh, lastly the only thing the last thing I gotta say is uh, Battle Block Theater came out uh, last week, I uploaded a video with uh, with the the drill cast. Uh, I believe it was 27. Uh, yeah, because this is 28. And uh, I mean, I, I want to get some input on that. I want to know if you guys like, you know, if that was something good. Uh, if I should do like more gameplays behind the the drill cast on the video version, like, you know, any any suggestions or recommendations or something. You know, let let us know. I'm definitely interested in uh, in some opinions there. Um, but yeah, Battle Block Theater, been playing that a little bit every now and then. Uh, a little disappointed that a lot of my friends aren't really into that, because uh, it, it would be an amazing multiplayer game. I know I played with one of my friends, uh, uh, James. Uh, we played the, uh, the beta, which, I, I mean, once the game is out, is there NDA anymore? Like, does that... I don't know, I don't know how that works. Well, like a lot of the a lot of the stuff that that uh, that they were talking about, or rather that was in the forums and whatnot, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be able to talk about. But whatever, like 
you know, we played the beta, it was fun, we had a great time, but for some reason he's just like, yeah, I don't know if I'm really going to buy it, because it's a platformer, and it basically you just kind of got to rush through the game, like that's the goal, you rush through the game as fast as you can, uh, collecting gems and stuff, you get to the finish line, and uh, I don't know, I love Wait. the game, yeah. Is there is there a time limit, like, like counting down to where you have to do it, or do you just get more points for completing levels faster? You get more points for completing it faster, unless you're playing one of the, I believe the boss levels and the encore levels are timed. Uh, those you have to complete very quick. So every checkpoint you get to gets you additional time. Is is basically it. <coughs> uh, I was but, curious. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, it's an excellent game. Uh, you know, if if any of you guys have it, uh, definitely let me know. I, I want to get some co-op in there, get some of those achievements. Um, I don't know. I just sometimes I don't really like playing with random people. Like you know, when you do go to like a quick match or something like that, I rather know somebody, especially for a game like that, because it's so easy to screw somebody over. And a lot of the people on yeah. quick match don't have they don't have uh, microphones. That's another thing that really pisses me off. So, you know, it's it's you know sometimes you got to work together to get you know to the next part. And the game has this uh, this button. Uh, I want to say it's the left trigger. I'm not sure that uh, it stops your character. It's the funniest animation. It stops your character, stands in place, and then he starts like waving his arms, like flailing or whatever. And he starts crying and yelling help. And you see like a help animation around it, like a whole bunch of like help letters, like comic book style, you know. Uh, funniest thing ever that I've seen, but yeah, I mean, like at least there's that. Uh, but that that's not really a, a good form of communication when playing a game like that, uh, especially on co-op. Just, uh, just one yelling thing, your mic, dude. Yeah, but what if they don't have sound like coming out through their TV? You know, like not everybody. Usually, does people that. can hear you. Oh, usually. Uh, people. I don't know, like, I don't know, well, whatever, bottom line is, I, 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 I love the game, it's fun, I love the behemoth, uh, every time they're at PAX, so it's always a, it's always a great time, um, so yeah, definitely check that out, and, uh, yeah, honestly, I mean, that's pretty much all that I got today, I don't really know, I mean, I don't know if you've been playing anything, you played some, uh, Payday, I don't know if you want to get into some of that gold, and the, uh, the mysterious, uh, uh <laughs> mysterious, what's it called? Um, yeah. Fuck, what are they called? Cloakers. Cloakers, yeah. So, we've been playing, we, we always play this game, uh, Payday the Heist on Steam. Uh, and, game, by the way. Yeah, it's, we play it for one level, the first level of the game, which you rob, you literally rob a bank. This has become the thievery episode as we're talking about breaking in and shit. Yeah, I guess <laughs> it's Fucking it voodoo. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we, we basically... We played. We played this game. We played it for one level, and I guess recently somebody, or fairly recently, I would imagine somebody discovered some sort of like a. I, I don't want to say it's an Easter egg. Is it? Uh, to get the, the gold uh, bars. Uh, uh, originally, I would say it was. Now, not so much. Originally, it was an Easter egg. So many people found out about it. They released I it. Everybody. Is I mean, not because you can play through it. It doesn't tell you how to do it um, unless you know how to do it. You know, nobody's gonna right, figure right. it out. You know, so so yeah, I guess it still is an Easter egg. Uh, where basically on the first level, you have to camp out and defend one area for how long? Like twenty minutes? It's probably uh, longer. Than I that. think it's longer than that. Yeah, it's probably like thirty or something like that. You have to defend an area for like thirty minutes, and you're guaranteed if you get it right, because uh, you got to do like a like a puzzle afterwards that I haven't done. Somebody else that plays with us has has done does that part or is in charge of that part. Uh, you definitely need four people to do it, uh, but basically you're guaranteed a whole bunch of gold, uh, which is a lot more money than you would get if you were to just play regularly on that level, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you, I pretty much leveled up to 100 in, like, what, like, three games that we've played, and I guess that's, I mean, it's a lot more than what I would get just playing the game on my own, you know? Um, yeah. Definitely really fun. Uh, you know, it, honestly, it's not even the, the the playing of the game that's fun, it's just the, the crap that we talk to each other that's fun. Uh, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> we're all just doing the game. It's just bad. You do some stupid parkour in that game, it, but overall, they just announced. They, I mean, they <laughs> they just announced the uh, the second one. So then that's why I kind of want to bring it up because the second one. I mean, it looks okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably more of the same. It's probably still gonna be a shitty game, but I'm yeah. probably gonna get it the, the second that I see that it's on sale. 
<laughs> I I guess I don't know. Um, I like the look of the first one better, but mm -hmm. whatever. We'll see what happens when the the overall like the out. the user interface. Yeah. Mean, like the yeah. the HUD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the HUD on the on the newer one is more roundish than. Yeah, it's it's weird to me. I don't know why. It doesn't feel right. Well, maybe once we play it, we'll get a better feel for it. Cause I'm definitely, I'm definitely planning on getting the game. Uh, it's just a matter of when it goes on sale. Cause there's no way I'm paying sixty bucks for that. And you know it's it gonna 60 be sixty bucks. bucks. No, you no, know you know it has to be sixty bucks. How much was the first one when it came out? I would imagine sixty bucks. Cause it came out on PS3. Twenty bucks. When it came out, I doubt that. Yeah. Dude, no. it's an arcade title. It's a. It was it's an not an arcade title. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay. Game is so 20, 20 bucks. bucks. Alright. I mean, honestly, even if the second one comes out, like, I probably... I wouldn't mind paying 20 bucks. Well... Because that's the thing. Like, I never... I played it for, like, t one level. I think we collectively played, like, like you know, co-op, like, maybe three levels. I don't know if that was all of them, but I honestly, I don't remember any of the other levels. I don't rem I don't even know what the fuck the story is. <laughs> I don't even know if there is a story to it. All I know is that There's you're no basically... You, each one is, like, its own little story, if I'm not mistaken. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just robbing freaking banks, and I remember, I think one episode, you gotta, like, save some guy and attach him to a helicopter or something like that on that little weird yeah. chair. Yeah, no, the game is weird. Uh, definitely, I mean, I, I, wanna, I don't want to say worth checking out, but, I mean, if you have an interest in, in that, and if you have four friends, or three other friends that uh, <laughs> want to team up with you, then definitely get it, because it is awesome. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I got. I don't know if you have anything else to add to, no, to this anything. week's episode. Yeah, I kind of want to cut it short. I know you're not feeling good. I don't want to fucking keep you talking here. Oh, I but uh, fine. Yeah, I haven't well, been talking. You've been talking the whole time. Shit. Well, yeah, because I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad about what? Because you're sick. Uh, whatever. We're not getting into this. Again. I can talk. I'm not an invalid. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't know. You got anything else to add, or are we just going to leave it at this? No, I don't, I don't have anything. All right, we're just going to leave it at this then. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, thumbs up, fucking thumbs down. I don't care. Do whatever you guys want to do. Actually, no, don't give it a thumbs down. That's not good. <laughs> um, uh, Facebook, Twitter, down right up left, Droolcast. Uh, you know how to find us. Hey, what's uh, up, guys? This is True Oz with them. Uh, <laughs> I'm not on that part right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, True Oz on Twitter, Show220 on Twitter. Or wait, no. Yeah, Show220 on Twitter. Uh, have a good one. Peace.